Hello everyone and welcome back to my shop. Today I'm going to be uh, unpacking and reviewing the Depstech rotary tool as well as the accessory kit that comes with it. Uh, every good shop or every handy person uh, needs uh, a rotary tool. They can be useful for metal fabrication, wood fabrication or general household maintenance. Okay, we're going to start off with the uh, with the Depstech. It's this is a DM180 uh, power tool, advanced rotary tool. It uh, uses 180 uh, uh, watts and uh, it's capable of turning from 10,000 to 40,000 uh, RPM. So as you can see, it comes with a very sturdy case as with uh, all the Depstech uh, tools. So uh, this is an extension here that can connect to, to the tip of the rotary tool and then you can uh, use the accessories in tight spaces where you can't get the whole multi-tool or the uh, rotary tool in place. It is variable speed, as you can see here, just by turning the knob here, it changes the, the speeds. And you just press the button here, and I'm pretty sure it comes with a key where you can uh, uh, lock and unlock and then just put the uh, accessories that you want to use. Uh, this one here is a, is a shield. Uh, that you can just screw on the, on the tip of it here just to protect uh, from flying debris. Um, it also comes with uh, some accessories. Uh, for instance, these are uh, uh, grinding uh, discs as well as other, uh, uh, other accessories. As well as, as you can see, this is the, uh, this is the block and here is the tool. This is the tool to lock it in place. And they also offer you an additional tip. And these are small parts here. This is the tip of the tool, as well as the, uh, the holder, the, the one that holds all the accessories in place. Uh, it's nice that sometimes you can lose them and uh, it's nice to have extras. Um, these are for very fine detail uh, grinding, buffing, and these are cutting discs here that you have to use the cutting disc accessory uh, for it. Okay. So, and it comes also with a with an owner's manual. If we take a look now at the accessory tool, so this one is the Depstack uh, rotary tool accessory. It's 420 pieces, model AT420. Uh, there's a list here at the back of all the. Uh, the accessories included in it. Okay, once again, it comes with a really nice uh, box for all the tools, as well as the uh, the owner manual for it. And it tells you, gives you some idea of uh, which tool is used for what. As you can see here, there's uh, there's a lot more uh, tools. Some of the uh, the drill bits for uh, for drilling, if you want. But I think you most likely will need a special stand for uh, drilling. And these are here uh, the tools that are used to uh, with the cutting discs. So there's a whole bunch of cutting discs. So one, two, three, four. Uh, these are buffing uh, this buffing compound here to be used with the with the spongy kind of little accessories. Uh, but it's really nice that they have three of them uh, because sometimes you lose one and you can't find it and then you can't use your uh, cutting disc. Uh, these are grinding discs for very fine details like for instance if you're working on uh, um, the intake of an engine for instance you want to smooth it out uh, then you start with the rough um, uh, grinding disc and then you move to the buffing after. There's a whole bunch of them. Th these, these are the, uh, the holders for the uh, the grinding, the sanding uh, discs here. Uh, there's a, a small one and a big one. These are for the very fine details, like if, for instance, if you're cleaning jewelry or something like that, you can use them to brush. The different material materials. This is uh, stainless steel. This is brass, and this is plastic. And the same here, different shapes. Once again, different shapes. And these ones are uh, also like abrasive discs just for uh, grinding things. They give you an extra key, just in case you lose your other one. And uh, I really like this one here, 80, 80 grit uh, rotating uh, wheel. 
this one uh, this one is really nice i think i'm not sure what this one is for right? i think it's probably for cutting um, hard materials like ceramics possibly i haven't looked at the manual yet so really nice tool looking forward to testing it out uh, with uh, some um, small projects that we're going to work on all right so uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, the accessories so the first one is i'm going to use that uh, shield so you can take this one off and then you could basically screw this shield in place i really like this shield idea obviously as you know when using a multi-tool uh, like this one a rotary tool it's extremely important to be wearing your uh, uh, goggles safety goggles first and if you want to wear gloves as well and be in a well ventilated area uh, obviously because uh, these uh, grinding um, material can fly up in the air and then there's dust so you don't want to be breathing uh, that dust so what's really nice about this uh, shield is after you tighten it you can basically rotate it to the direction that you want which is really neat I, li I like that a, a lot then however if you want uh, to, to see better or if you want to uh, you're in a tight spot you could just basically put back the the original piece of plastic so uh, this tool here I explored it a little bit more and actually this one here is for uh, holding um, um, drill bits in place it's a very very nifty design because uh, it's just with one hand essentially you don't need any other tools to tighten the, the, the drill bit in uh, in place so this is how it's done you take it off this is the original part the one that you can tighten with the key and um, you can take this piece this is kind of the uh, the holder for the for the different bits and you just take this and then you screw it in place and that's once it reaches it bottoms out then it starts closing the uh, the chuck and you can see here now you can put your drill bit at the distance that you want and you keep tightening and then it's tight so you don't need anything else and then like if you're drilling you could use your hand here as a holder but I know that they sell special holders also that you could put on the side and then use them uh, to, to drill I mean if you have a, a, a drill press already at home this is different because this is made for making extremely precise and, and, and tight uh, holes Instead of the, the drill press and some of the electric drill chucks, they can't hold uh, drill bits that are this small. But this one here pretty much closes all the way, all the way down, as you can see here. And then if you want to release it, you turn the other way counterclockwise, and then the chuck stops, and then it starts on it releasing from, from the bottom. So th this is really neat. I like that. So I'm just going to put this back in. So if we take a look at the extension now, so the extension, uh, basically same principle. Uh, so just remove everything and you just, you just tighten it in place like this. And there's a shaft that runs uh, inside this. And now you can just basically connect things because there's a similar chuck here on this side that you can connect. I'm pretty sure you can put a drill bit, the drill bit attachment in it as well. So we're gonna we're gonna test these out and see how well it works. We're gonna start with the uh, with the regular chuck first. So if we're using um, the grinding, uh, I'm gonna call them the grinding. Okay, so see there's, so what, it, what they have here is they have two different size uh, chucks in it. See, one is big and one is small and they're slightly different colored. And uh, you can see them here. So there's two here and then two there. They're slightly different colors. One of them fits uh, the larger accessories like this one and the other one fits smaller accessories. Because if, for instance, if you wanna use the drill bit, for instance, it will fit here as well, instead of the other one. So there's a variety of different sizes, uh, but mostly this is mostly for the, this, this one is mostly for the drill bits, while this one here is for the larger accessories. So I'm gonna put this one here. 
and put this in the attachment you put it at the distance that you want and you can see I'm pressing the button here as I'm tightening there you, go. you don't want to over tighten it just enough there you go it's tight so now I'm gonna take one of the the, the the sanding cylinders that's what I'm gonna call them and then you just put it in here okay and there's a little screw at the top here so you just hold it in place make sure it's locked and then as you turn the screw it will actually it will actually make the um, the piece of rubber expand onto the sanding cylinder and then it won't move anymore there you go, let's tighten up. All right, so now we're ready uh, to do some testing. Okay, so first time we're gonna turn this on just to see uh, how it sounds. The on button is right here and the speed is right here. It's a variable speed. So I'm just gonna go back to one and then turn it on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do also is I have a old a rotary tool that I've had for several years from a different manufacturer. So I'm gonna compare both of them. I just wanna give you an idea of uh, the differences between the two. So as you can see here, this one is uh, about the same um, weight. This one is a little bit uh, sturdier. This one is a little bit smaller and narrower. Uh, let's see, let's listen to the sound when I turn it on. Okay, so this one is a lot uh, louder than the depth stack and uh, you probably need uh, hearing protection when using this at full rotary speed. So we are ready to do some testing. First thing, it's better to use some gloves, safety goggles, And I like to use a respirator, especially when using the multi-tool because there's a lot of fine dust that goes up in the air and it's probably better not to breathe these things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be sanding, um, uh, doing some sanding on this, uh, this uh, uh, steel uh, pipe that I use for building uh, chassis. And as you can see, sometimes there's some little burrs on the inside or outside, or you, even sometimes you wanna grind it uh, smoother so you have a better surface for welding if, if you're doing TIG welding more important for TIG welding than MIG welding and I'm gonna do that All right, so what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do now is something that I call the torque test. So I have these two multi-tools here side by side, and I am going to be putting them at the mid-range speed for both of them, each one at a time. And then I'm gonna start sanding or grinding, and then I'm gonna push almost the same amount of uh, uh, power that I'm gonna put. I'm gonna push down on the multi-tool and a, and a piece of pipe i'm going to see where i can get the motor to stall so let's start first with the um, with the other one So now we're going to look at the depth stack at three.
So not only the depth sec runs smoother, but it also has more torque. So from my point of view, this is a, a better rotary tool than this one here. So now that we established that the depth stack has more torque, let's see if we can cut this, uh, this piece of uh, pipe. So this is quite thick. It's actually almost 140 uh, thousandths of an inch thick. So we're gonna see if we can, if we can cut it. So I just wanted to show you how how good this tool is. I mean, obviously, I don't I don't think that this setup here is made to cut this thick of a piece of a steel pipe. This is mostly for working on uh, very small projects, uh, like very precise projects. And I just wanted to show you how powerful it is. It was able to cut through using this setup, and so I had to shift speeds from three to six to give it more. Uh, speed and I will cut faster but it, it is definitely possible I will definitely be using a much bigger saw uh, to cut this but I mean I just wanted to show you that how well this uh, this tool works so now let's do a couple more tests so what if we use now the, uh, the sanding I like this here this rotary sanding disc arrangement I'm not sure I'm pretty sure each one of those have a specific name but I'm just gonna call them whatever I decide they will be. So this seems to work a lot better than the, uh, a lot better and quicker than the uh, sanding cylinders. It was able to remove a lot uh, more materials, uh, material very quickly. Even though, but you can see that it's not as smooth uh, because this is 80 grit. So if you want something um, kind of smoother, see here, it's probably, this is this one here is a higher uh, number. So it's probably like uh, 200 maybe. Anyways, and obviously there's the, the buffing uh, accessories, etc. I'm not going to use those, but... And I'm pretty sure here, the different color, this is a different uh, grit. So this one here is a, is a different grit than these ones. And obviously, it depends on the job, right? Some jobs you want uh, a smoother surface. Some of them you want to remove material quickly. Okay, so... 
final thoughts. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. And you know what I like the most about it? It's price. I mean, I'm going to post the links for the Amazon uh, Canada and Amazon USA stores where you can buy this. And then you'll see for yourself how much it costs. For all the accessories that you can get and the power of this tool, this will definitely last you a very long time. And as you saw, it is much better than a tool that I bought many years ago that was twice as expensive as this one. So um, the bottom line is uh, I really like it. Uh, I like how sturdy it is and how much power it's, it has in the, uh, in the electric motor in it. And I really like the accessories, but I mean, the accessories, they are basically standard. You can get them for any more expensive rotary tool and they work as good as any of the others. So uh, if you're looking for a good rotary tool for you, I'm pretty sure that this one will do a very good job and will, won't break the bank for you. Thank you and we'll see you next time.